Hi Scorpio, welcome to your monthly messages from Spirit Reading for June 2021. This is your girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. My intentions for this reading, Scorpio, is to provide and channel messages from my spiritual team, from your spiritual team, our higher selves, into this reading for you currently to let you know of anything you need to be aware of in the month of June, any lessons to be learned, any trials to be persevered and overcome, whatever's been weighing heavily in your heart or on your mind, anything you need clarity on, I hope to give you that during this reading. If you have any specific spirit guides, angels, um, ancestors, or even passed down loved ones that you would like to welcome at this time, please do so now. I invite you to welcome any being of the light to come forward. This is a general reading for the sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Scorpio. This will not resonate with every Scorpio that watches this message. And if this message is not for you, I suggest checking out your other signs and different placements. All right, Scorpio, let's get started. My lab Labradorite, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, fell over. Um, some of you guys may connect with the stone Labradorite. If you don't know of its meaning, its spiritual purposes, I suggest that you check out Google Labradorite um, while you hear this message or after you hear this as well. So Spirit, what does Scorpio need to know right now for the month of June? Diana, focused intention. Think about what you desire. Set your sights high. Expect the best possible outcome. So there's something in June, Scorpio, that you want to succeed at, that you are putting your focus towards, your intention towards. This feels career related. This feels goal related. Um, it could perhaps be relationship really if this is a general reading. Um, but this feels, regardless of what you're trying to manifest, Scorpio, the time is now to set those intentions. Lady Diana, Goddess Artemis, is here with you to help you succeed at whatever it is you are wanting to go forward, move forward with. Um, I feel this has already been an idea in your head. I don't feel like this new idea is coming in the month of June. But now it's time to start planning what it is you want to do about where it is you want to go. What are you? How are you going to succeed at this? What moves do you need to make? Diana is a huntress. Diana sees her... Um, what she wants, what she wants to hunt for, and doesn't stop till she gets there. And Scorpio, that hunger in you is starting to surface. Um, and usually when we feel so passionate about a certain goal, a certain achievement, it's because it's a part of our divine purpose. There's no other way around it. And whatever this calling is, Scorpio, that Diana is helping you pursue, hunt, <laughs> I don't know, it feels very um, straightforward, very direct, um, it's part of your life purpose, and that's why you feel so strongly about it. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have the Holy Spirit. Expect miracles. Remember that only love is real. Miracles will occur naturally. Spirit has your back. So Libra had this card in their reading. Some of you can have Libra in your chart. If you do, I suggest watching the Libra reading to see if there's messages for you there. But what this combination is telling me, Scorpio, that whatever you're setting your eye on, whatever it is that you're seeing out in the distance saying, this is going to be mine one day and I will not give up. The Holy Spirit is backing you up with this and saying, Scorpio, you are the one to make the moves towards this. You are the one to put the action towards it. But know that the presence of the Holy Spirit is backing you up. You have strong um, protection. You have strong presence around you that is guiding you towards whatever this is that is coming into your life that feels so right for you. 
I, I, there's no other way to really describe it. Um, what this goal and dream is that you just feel and know it's yours, it absolutely is. But now you have to take the steps to get there and use your intelligence, use your strategy. I feel that um, there's many people who are after this too. It feels like a competitive era or area you're around within your career, within your goals. Not many achieve this sort of opportunity. Not many achieve the goals you want to achieve. But Scorpio, as long as you still persevere, as long as you keep your eyes on the prize, the Holy Spirit is saying this will be yours and Diana has your back to help you with this, to fight this and to help you hunt for this dream to come true in your life. Um, a lot of you have connection towards animals or if it's not like you have um, you know, a really strong connection with animals, there's a specific animal that has been reoccurring in your life lately that provides a medicine for you specifically or a message for you specifically. So if you've been seeing a certain animal, I'm seeing a black cat that may resonate with you in some way, but it could be like a stag, it could be a bear, it could be a horse, whatever that animal is that keeps on reappearing. You don't even have to see it you know, in everyday life. It could be through images on TV, posters, emojis. Look up that medicine and what that message comes for you with. And even in your dreams, you could have had a recent dream of even a mystical creature or an animal. Look those meanings up because there is messages for you being sent by spirit through those animals that are reoccurring in your life. But Scorpio, whatever this is that you are determined to achieve, you have a lot of ambition for this. It will be yours. That's all you need to know. But now you just need to start planning how you're going to get there. Don't let any setback make you think that you can't achieve this because it's just simply not the truth. Whatever this is, it's a part of your divine calling. Okay? Let's keep going. I'm also feeling Sagittarius energy with this Diana card as well. So some of you got Sagittarius in your chart. What does Scorpio need to know for the month of June? What does Scorpio need to know? Regret. I know that I cannot change the past. With surrender, I can release my need to control. Interesting. So we just talked a lot about surrender with Libra's reading, and it's coming through here again. But more importantly, Scorpio, what are you regretting lately? What are you feeling like you have spent too much time and energy on figuring out what hasn't happened in your life? What you could have learned, what you could have changed? Um... You know, Scorpio, whatever that is in your specific life and situation, it's held on to you for too long. And with Diana here, it's time to set your focus on something else and leave the past in the past. Whatever relationships, whatever contracts, whatever rejection, whatever failures you've been through in the past, you've already learned from. That's making it clear as well from spirit. There's no need to still try to figure out what hasn't happened for you and why that it's not part of your plan anymore. And even if this goal that you still feel very called to is still very present and it has something to do with the regret you have, um, all you need to do is go about it with a different strategy, a different way. But I feel for some of you guys, you keep on trying to pursue something with the same strategy where Diana is here to show you there's another way. If you're still trying to make a connection in your career or a connection in your life with someone who isn't willing to give you the time, they're going to regret that later because you guys are on their eyes. But some of you are still very, um, very much holding on to the past that is just not, no longer needed anymore. And, you know, people say I live life without regrets and that must be a great way to live. I envy that. But, um, you know, I think as far as regrets go, there is some knowledge and some value in learning from what you wish you could have done differently. But the thing about regrets is that you're not supposed to hold on to it forever. And I think some of you are still kind of holding on to something that just has been so long ago, but still you cling to it as part of your value or your truth, and it's not.
some of you have a connection to sunflowers as well. Um, but yeah, Scorpio, leave the past in the past. Move forward now with the perseverance and ambition to get through what you need to get through. And know that the lessons that you still are not understanding really truly most of you have already gone through it and learned from it and a lot of it has to do with surrender surrender the need to know why the surrender to need to know how but with enough faith in yourself to know that if i have undeniable faith and intention of manifesting what it is i want to manifest in my life i will get there your intuition is very on point as well I feel some of you could have cancer in your chart. And Diane is here to let you know the instinct you have, that powerful instinct, is a gift. But with that instinct of knowing something is for, your, for you, don't obsess over how it's going to get there. Just start moving towards it and let it unfold naturally. Wow. Let's keep going. What does Scorpio need to know for Jade Spirit? Ooh. Third Eye Chakra. Wow. The frequency of the Third Eye Chakra, the indigo flower of life, supports our intuition and our inner knowing, our imagination and our psychic powers. And then fertility. The frequency of fertility invites us to be more open more courageous, more creative, and more joyful than we were before. Mm -hmm. It activates the potential for something beautiful to grow from our consciousness into a new and grander expression of ourselves. So, Scorpio, yeah, you know, with this regret, I even feel for some of you, if this isn't regret that um, lies within you, it relies within someone who you may have felt like didn't believe in you, support you, and they really regret now that you, I, this is someone you don't talk to very much anymore, this is someone you've kind of put a boundary in place with, and they do regret making you feel or even treating you in the way that you were undeserving of. So that's just a message that was quickly kind of coming through for some of you guys. But with this third eye chakra, yeah, no wonder I kind of tuned into the intuition specifically what you're visualizing for yourself, Scorpio, those daydreams you have throughout the day of certain accomplishments, success, um, those are going to manifest those visualizations you have of where you see yourself going, of what you see yourself having. I mean, I feel your third eye is getting a complete upgrade this month, and the purpose of it is to show you what can be yours, what you can what you see you will achieve is what I'm hearing specifically. And these visual visualizations are just coming through to you in June. And maybe they're just like an acceleration of what you've always wanted. Um, but it's becoming very powerful now, Scorpio. And those visualizations are guiding you again for you realizing and instinctively knowing that this is meant for you. And fertility here, I mean again, like I said, plant those seeds. It's time to plant those seeds. The soil is fertile now. Um, and again, some of you may be trying to plant seeds with wrong people, the wrong circumstances, the wrong times. The soil is not um, going to harvest you any good opportunities from what you were trying to plant whatever long ago with a certain someone or a certain career, but it, it's different now. And if it is a career, you're still meant to do this. But like, again, it was just the certain people you were trying to manifest this with were not the right ones. And now you're seeing also um, people for who they are this month in June. I feel you're just going to sense different energies around you in a way where it's just undeniable. It's not like you're judging people. It's not like you are judging them with no good reason, but it's just this energy you're getting from certain people that you see and feel is so different in alignment with what you are and what you have currently. There may be people you may see through and kind of drop as no longer being a part of your team, and that's okay. 
You know, I even feel for some of you, you may have regrets by leaving people behind, by um, putting boundaries in for yourself. Um, and, and there's no reason to do that because really, Scorpio, your intuition is right. If you feel someone's not right for you, if you feel someone isn't having your back fully, you're correct in that. And you shouldn't feel guilty because you have no 3D proof of it, but it's just, I don't know, you're sensing that there's someone that's just smiling to your face and stabbing you in the back. Or something along those lines of people around you who are only there for you when you're there for them. And the second you need them the most, it's like they're gone. And you're seeing people clearly for that now. So don't regret, you know, cutting people out of your life who are just there for the banquet, for the rewards that you've earned. But mainly what I feel with this whole combination here, what you're visualizing is absolutely the future of your reality. What you can achieve, what you will achieve, is absolutely yours. And I feel this ambition is very, very prestigious, very rare, very one of a kind. Um, even fame for some of you, you've been wanting to be acknowledged in a very profound worldly way and that can be yours. But now it's time to plant those seeds. It's time to set the intentions. It's time to do the work. And what intentions you send now in June is going to unfold for the rest of your year, Scorpio. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Your favorite color could be purple. Or you could be wearing purple right now. What does Scorpio need to know for the month of June? Eight of Swords. Gemini energy. You're not stuck, Scorpio. I, I mean, again, this Eight of Swords is being tied to the regret of what didn't happen, what didn't occur, and you even putting blame on yourself that was unnecessary. You know, it's, it, it's time to release yourself from the worries and the fears that just cloud your third eye, that cloud your um, visualizations of what you can have and achieve. Um, and really, the Eight of Swords has been in your energy for way too long, overthinking, overanalyzing, second guessing. Um, it's just not what you were meant to be, Scorpio. I don't know if this type of energy was placed upon you from you know, uh, past lives I'm hearing of past lives where you didn't succeed and achieve what you wanted to achieve. And this is the lifetime to do it, by the way, if that's the case and you felt that energy. But, you know, just people telling you you can't do it. Um, there's a very, I had watched this thing on um, Instagram, a reels of Jay-Z, the rapper. And um, he said something along the lines of, you know, when people tell you you can't do that, it's not because they don't find you worthy. It's because they don't see themselves being able to achieve it. So I don't know if this was parental, um, family, friends, quote unquote friends I'm hearing, um, that just, they couldn't see themselves achieving this type of success. So in a way, there's something shadowy within them that they wanted to project onto you to make you feel like you couldn't achieve it. For those of you this resonates with, it's just absolutely not your truth. And maybe you've been sitting in that for too long of believing what other people try to project onto you because of their own beliefs of themselves. But you're supposed to break through, free from this, Scorpio. And once you come into the acknowledgement and the awareness that you are Diana energy, hunter, huntress energy, and you will pursue and go after the dreams you want to and you've always wanted to, Nothing's going to keep you in the Eight of Swords again. Let's keep going. What does Scorpio need to know for the month of June? Whew, jumpy cards for you, Scorpio. Now we have judgment. Wow. Is it focusing? Sorry if it's not. There we go. Okay, judgment. Break free from the regrets of the past, Scorpio, please. Please. I mean, that I, that's coming out so, so strongly. Um, you know, break free from the judgment of others, break free from, 
um, you know, quote unquote, disappointing others when you were serving yourself by setting up limits, setting up boundaries, cutting people from your life. Um, and maybe, you know, you haven't heard from these people you set boundaries with for a while, or you're still in the process of, and because they feel you pulling away, pulling back, they're trying to make the energetic cord between the two of you stronger. Um, and that's what's making you kind of feel bad about this, but you really don't need to. If it's in your greatest good to cut someone out of your life, do so. And maybe you're in the process of that now in June and you're finally going to break those cords in June. Um, but, you know, also this is correlating to what I said about someone maybe feeling a lot of regrets when it comes to you. They're seeing you're coming into this new awakening this new awareness you're rising up from the ashes quite literally in this imagery here and they're watching you saying damn you know what i should have treated scorpio better now that they're climbing to their success now that they broke free now that they're going after their truest desires i should have been their full support system and i should have recognized their goodness their greatness this feels like a very present energy like this energy's um, you know, I asked to connect with your spirit guides and spirit team, but this energy feels like they're very much alive. They're very much kicking in this world. Um, but they, they do have a strong energetic cord with you out of their own regrets. Just acknowledgement from this, but Scorpio, a lot of you still need to rise above anything that you felt like you failed in the past. What's done is done. You've learned from it. Now move forward. One more message for my beautiful Scorpios for June. Seven of Wands. Yeah, Leo energy. This is worth fighting for, Scorpio. Whatever this intention you have is for your life, whatever you see yourself achieving and accomplishing, and you are not meant to give this up and just say, you know what, this is too big for me. I can't do this. This isn't something I can achieve. You're meant to push through and fight no matter what. And this is the reading for you to remind yourself that this is something you very much can do. Um, I feel some of you may have Leo Moon and the Nine of Swords. Gemini energy again. Um, yeah, you know, Scorpio, look at this imagery here. It's too much of what people have said to you, of what people have tried to describe you as being or tried to make you feel a way um it, you've held on to that for too too long break free from that it's only detrimenting you it isn't true what they said um some of them just didn't want how can you be how can you see someone else be happy when you're not happy with yourselves and you've held that opinion that they had of you about yourself as a truth and you're breaking free from that you know now you can fight for this you know that this is meant for you this it feels like a very big time goal and achievement success really and you will rise above all you really will um nothing can stop you once you really decide you're worth it once you really decide you're going to put it in a good fight and you're going to pursue it until it's yours. And until you come to that realization, you may still stay in this nine of swords and eight of swords energy that doesn't belong to you. Rise above, Scorpio. You are the one out of any sign in the zodiac to persevere, to go through the flames, to turn into ash and rise again as the phoenix. And this is that time in June where you realize your power again, your strength again, you're ascending, you're growing more and more in your realization of who you are and what you can do. And don't lose that vision. So I'm going to go ahead and get one more card from the Crystal Mandala deck. This is one of my favorite Oracle decks by Alana Fairchild. Um, I'm going to see what crystal is coming through for you, crystal energy, and also another being of the light, an ascended master, an angel, a god or goddess that would like to come through for you to see what we can wrap this whole reading up with. 
but know your dreams can be a reality, period, point blank, period. And if you ever just say, yeah, right, this isn't for me, those are the only thoughts that are truly stopping you in achieving it. And if you don't believe in yourself, if you don't put value, the price of who you are and your worth and your skills, the world is going to put a price on you, Scorpio. And that is not meant to be for you. Let's get one more card for my beautiful Scorpios. Individuality. Angel Eahel and Labradorite. Oh, didn't I mention with Labradorite in the beginning of the reading? Yeah, some of you really need, if you have Labradorite, tune with it. It is a crystal for you. And for those of you that um, don't know about it, please look it up. Here's the spelling of it um, once it's kind of in focus there. Wow, intense, intense. Okay, let's go ahead and read an excerpt from this. We bring you the gift of individuality. As you receive our gift, you will feel safe enough to enjoy the aspects of yourself that truly make you unique. From particular interests to your way of expressing yourself, to what excites and inspires your spirit, your individuality is the way the divine wishes to manifest itself through you this lifetime. The key to your divine life purpose is to know what you are and to love and accept that self so that you allow natural development and expression in the world to take place. As you accept your individuality, you will understand how natural it is for you to fulfill your life purpose and divine destiny. You will instinctively gravi gravitate towards people, places, and energies that support you in being your bright, true spirit. You'll grow and express yourself more freely and authentically, and the divine light within shall shine brighter without a veil of fear, confusion, or shame obscuring it. You have no need to compare yourself to any other. You are a unique child of the universe with your own spiritual path and destiny to fulfill. Amen, Scorpio. And that's pretty much what I've been saying this entire time. You know, you are different in beautiful, profound, powerful ways. And if people can't understand that about you, you don't need them. You don't need their opinions. You don't need their words to ring in your head time after time. They're not your truth. They're not your existence. They're, they're not a part of your well-being. Who you are is a beautiful, powerful, courageous being that is set to determine or is set to go and conquer anything it is that they want to achieve through their own unique way. You are out of the box. You don't go back to the same drawing board time and time again. You're meant to achieve something with your own unique approach to it. And that's what's going to ultimately make you successful too, Scorpio, is your uniqueness, your individuality. And despite what anyone says, your ambition and determination to see it through in your own way. Please don't sell out. Please don't feel like you have to change or conform because that's what's going to make you stagnant. That's what's going to make you stay in place. Whatever it is you want to achieve in this lifetime, you're doing about it in your way. And don't second guess it. Don't doubt it. It is absolutely the way it's supposed to be. Thank you so much, Scorpio, for joining me for this reading. I hope that this has resonated with you in some way. If it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below. Hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe. Very quickly, I do want to wrap up with saying that I am still... And this is the last month of my two-year anniversary giveaway that I am holding for you guys being such a wonderful support system. I'm giving away a box full of goodies that contain tarot decks, candles, crystals, all that good stuff. If you're interested in entering the giveaway, open up the description box, scroll down a little bit, and you'll find the rules of entry there, just in case you're interested. I love you, Scorpio, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Scorpio.